State lawmakers need to pass supplemental operating, transportation, and capital budgets here in the home stretch of the legislative session. What does the term supplemental mean? Supplemental budget is the off-year budget that we do. Essentially what a supplemental budget is designed to do is kind of make the tweaks necessary, fill in where there might have been some mistakes or policy decisions that might need to be tweaked a little bit. There might have been a revenue change, for example, if we're going through a recessionary cycle or something like that, or have more revenue than we thought coming in, we make tweaks to the budget during those supplemental years. So this is not a year for new large fiscal policies and increasing state spending? No, 2013 and every odd calendar year is actually would be the main budget. Even calendar years, as we're in right now, would be the supplemental years. So can you tell us a little bit about each of the three state budgets, starting with the operating budget? Sure, yeah, the operating budget is the largest of the budgets. It was about a $33, $34 billion budget, and that's for two years. That is what's going to be paying for K-12 through education, health care issues, you know, health and human services, taking care of those that really need to be taken care of. It also takes care of a lot of our bonds, kind of like your mortgage. When you're paying off your bonds, you've got money coming right off the top to pay your mortgage, and we do that with our operating budget as well. So what about the transportation budget? First of all, it's totally separate from the operating budget. It's separate funding sources. Now we're talking about gas taxes. You're talking about weight fees, those types of things. And so the funding source is totally separate. The other thing too with the transportation budget, it is protected by the 18th Amendment. The 18th Amendment says that you can't co-mingle transportation dollars with operating budget. And those dollars are specifically what's being used for all of our roads, our bridges, our maintenance, any new construction, those types of things. And then the third budget is the capital budget. Yes, capital budget is what we're going to see when it comes to building anything, unrelated to transportation of course but things like our schools, our public buildings, those types of things, and then of course the operating of those facilities as well. So when it comes time to vote on all these budgets, what is kind of your guiding principle? Accountability, transparency, and sustainability. I think that if we can't hit those three areas in anything that we do, we're not doing the public justice. The public is entrusting us with their tax dollars to make the best decisions we possibly can, but if we're not doing it and being accountable so that they can see what's going on through our transparency, and then sustainability, meaning that we're not just making decisions today that are going to help us over the course of the next two years, but we're actually looking out two, four, ten, twenty years out into the future, that to me is very important. And I think in our private lives, you know, as citizens and as folks in the business world, they have to live that way. I think government should live the same way.